Hi, I'm Ellen Beard, the team manager of Genesis, and this is our virtual pit display. To overcome the challenge of showing you our pit display without being able to build it, we've modelled the entirety of our pit virtually down to the last pen. However, we wanted to give you a better look than just a couple of photos. So, we've used Autodesk Maya to animate our pit display, letting you get up close and personal. Plus, we've managed to create several high quality renders for you to have a look at, to give you the most realistic experience of our pit that we can offer in these weird times. So please, sit back and enjoy our virtual pit display tour. Now let's have a closer look. We wanted our pit to have a large visual impact upon first viewing and to instantly connect to our brand. To do this, we kept a simple colour palette, white, red and black, and used basic shapes to keep the design clean and to create contrast. The main part of the pit, the G, echoes our logo and draws the eye, fulfilling both of our aims by linking the pit display into our brand and creating high visual interest. Our pit display provided a brilliant opportunity to give back to our sponsors and fulfil our ROI plans. We used the bottom panel of our pit to advertise our platinum sponsor, One on Lithgow, and our team identity sponsor, CGI. We chose this panel to advertise our top sponsors because it is more likely to gain immediate attention from a viewer than a side panel, as it's facing forwards, making it more obvious. We also used this space to advertise our social medias, as we wanted to maintain the minimalism of the back panels while still drawing attention to our online presence. Finally, we added some of our circle graphics, a prominent part of our brand, to the panel to once again connect our pit display to our team identity. Our second panel of decals displays all of our gold, silver and bronze sponsors. These are separated by their size, their position and the gutters between each group. For example, our gold sponsors were made to be most prominent and were on the top to create hierarchy and so on. These logos were displayed on the inside of the pit to distinguish the platinum sponsors from our other sponsors. This also allowed us to create distinction between each of our sponsorship tiers. Next, let's look at our first interactive element. Our aim for this was to show the development of the cars over the years we've been competing. As demonstrated in the first animation, we have coloured LEDs on each of the cars in the G. These can be controlled, in concept, by a small panel of buttons, labelled with each of the car names. When pressed, the car will either light up green, the colour of our brand during the previous season, or red, the current colour of our brand. We plan to use this interactive element to give passers-by a more hands-on way to learn about our engineering process. The progression of cars in the G starts with the oldest model at the top and ends with our current car sitting on the table, which is emphasised using a light-up podium. We also left the rest of this raised area empty, so that nothing would distract from the car. We used this element of our design to further emphasise the development of our car over time. That brings us on to the table. To add visual interest to our design, we used the second level to give our layout some height variation. It also allowed us to keep the design concepts we wanted to display separate from other items on the table. On this raised shelf, we have several objects we consider relevant to our engineering story. This includes some of the first concepts for what we believe to be the most innovative element of our car design, the body shape, and areas in our design where we have made mistakes, as we think these experiences were how we grew most as a team. The other engineering-related element on our table is the exploded bottle of our car. We chose to include this as it gives passers-by a basic understanding of how our car fits together, allowing them to learn a bit more about our car's engineering. Our folios feature on the table as they allow passers-by to get an idea of our journey through F1 and schools, and how we've worked together as a team. Finally, we also have areas to hold merchandise, including pens and business cards. This is another way we have utilised our pit display to give back to our sponsors by displaying their merchandise, and to promote our own brand through our own merchandise, such as the Genesis pens on the table. 
Now let's look at our second interactive element for our pit display, the monitor. We planned for this to be controlled by an iPad and passers-by could select what area they wanted to find out more about. Meet the team, community or engineering. For community, a small blurb would appear on the screen along with some photos explaining our interaction with people in our town, such as the F1 and primary schools competition we ran. For Meet the Team, we had the avatars created for each of our team members on screen, and depending on which was selected, a short recording would play over the team members saying a little bit about themselves. We thought this was a more personal way to get to know our team. Finally, the default for our screen was an animation of the car assembly, which would appear if engineering was selected. Our final interactive element consists of a virtual space where passers-by can view models of our cars both past and present. By using a VR headset, we have created an area to showcase our car models, wherein cars can be picked up, enlarged and spun around to let visitors see the development of our cars in great detail. To give you a better idea of how it works, here is a demonstration of the controls. When users first put the headset on, they're greeted by a series of cars in front of them and a set of instructions. These instructions help users with visual aids rather than just a verbal explanation. Any car can then be picked up by the user and spun around so that all angles can be seen. This allows for models to be seen in more detail than simply on a physical model. The car can then be made bigger or smaller by moving the hands further apart or closer together. This also allows users to get an in-depth view of the cars and compare the small details of our old and new models. The car can also be spun around while the size is changed, making the models even more versatile. Finally, all of this can be done with any of the car models meaning that all of our car models can be compared in detail. Overall, we believe we have fulfilled all of our aims for our albeit virtual pit display. Our design creates a strong first impression on the viewer and is distinctly connected to our brand. We're excited to try to figure out how to construct our pit display in real life, and we already have many ideas we hope we get to put to good use. Thank you for taking the time to watch our virtual pit display tour. We hope you've enjoyed.